the day in the life of a typical wrestler. What's that like? Let's find out. <laughs> We have a new studio again. We got new lights, new microphone, new shells. Same dogs. We got a whole bunch of new stuff so I can put memorabilia up and basically just so it's better than a black screen for you guys behind me. We're gonna make this awesome for you. So tell me how you like it. Tell me what I should do different. Maybe you guys are better at decorating than me. I don't know. I'm a wrestler. I kick people in the face for a living, so I don't know how to decorate, but maybe you guys do. What's the day in the life of a wrestler look like? I was actually getting that question a lot. So as I was going for the footage th for this vlog, I was actually noticing I kind of had all the steps of what a normal day of a wrestler looks like. So let's find out what they are. Number one, take care of yourself. Your body is your vehicle to make a living. Your body is your everything. So take care of yourself. Part of taking care of yourself is taking care of yourself from the last week. The last week was Ultima Lucha for Lucha Underground. So let's get these stitches out. Okay, this is the last one there, bud. There she blows. It's going to stick around in your hair, then. Yeah. Perfect. That looks good. Every time I fight a Mexican, this is what happens to me. I end up in the hospital, 10 stitches out of my head. We're in the car now. 19 stitches later. Friendly all out. My hands. Pretty gross. Three more on my elbow. Every time I fight a Mexican, I end up in the hospital. It must be that other half Mexican that I'm missing. Hmm. In order to keep yourself running the best you can, you gotta eat right and supplement right. So, this is my morning. Chew on here, and my V Slim. Mm, gotta get in shape. Question. Who else eats their eggs with ketchup? Somebody called me weird for eating my eggs with ketchup, and I think they're weird for not. So who's right? Having a balanced diet is super important. Right there, I just showed you the V-Slim. I lost 15 pounds off of that. That is one of the supplements I take, and I will list all of the supplements I take in the description below, because they're all on my website, martincasaus.com. When you're working a nine to five job, you have to wake up every morning to go to work at nine o'clock. When you're working a wrestler schedule, you have to figure out the travel. And that means you have to wake up and be at the airport. I got awful times of the, of the morning. And uh, unfortunately it affects your family and your significant others. So figuring out your travel is unfortunately part of the wrestling part. Booty. <laughs> Not the happy face at five in the morning. No. Love. <laughs> I'm not happy either. Five o'clock sucks. That's love. Thank you, significant others of wrestlers, and thank you for my lovely lady, Leslie. So obviously you have to meet the people that are going to pay you to go wrestle for them. Some promoters are very cool. Some promoters are very weird. Most are very weird. In fact, I feel like if you're in pro wrestling in pretty much any sort of matter, you're a little bit messed up in the head.
not in a good, like, not in a bad thing way at all. It's just, you have to be a little bit messed up in the head to do some of the stuff we do. There's promoters of every single type. Some are very hands-on. They'll pick you up from the airport. Some you don't even see at all until you're at the show and somebody else picks you up. Uh, promoters are, there's all sorts of ranges of promoters. This promoter I actually knew from before, so it's kind of like seeing an old friend. I don't give all promoters this much shit. I'm here with my main man Carmine, who I've known for, Jesus, way too many years. And uh, we're about to have scotch? Yeah, yeah. This is a life moment, guys. A life moment. For the first time ever in his life, he's going to try scotch. I usually always stick with Jack Daniels and Seagram's, basically because I was a part of just wanted to get wasted. But now I'm sophisticated. Yeah, he thinks up. it's fancier to drink Clan McGregor scotch than it is to drink Jim Beam. If you know what the hell he's talking about, you put in the comments which one's better, because I have no idea what those are, but I'll drink them. Cheers. Cheers. Chen Dan, may you live to be a hundred years, and the last voice you hear be mine. Oh god, I would hate that. Chen Dan. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awful? <laughs> usually when you go out traveling like this, you usually want to try new stuff. Sometimes that stuff is weird, like this. So it is also my first time trying, the hell are these? Lamb fries. Lamb fries. It's Sorry, an Oklahoma Bambi. thing. It's an Oklahoma thing. Lamb fries. And this is Gabriella's. <laughs> Is there a famous if, lamb? If there, That's your question. Is there a famous lamb? Lamb chop is the only one I can think of. Yeah. Well, I just ate lamb chop. Lamb chop was just in my no, mouth. No, that, that is not a lamb chop. Come on, put the camera down here. This is. These are lamb, lamb testicles. Oh, is that why you like them? Sliced so much? La lamb testicles with yeah. marinara sauce. <laughs> Oklahoma, it's Oklahoma yes. Italian thing. And then there. So promoting is huge. It's actually like the biggest part of our job, like even bigger than the actual wrestling part of things as you're going to find out. Uh, whether it's going to be on social media, promoting the show, whether it's promoting yourself on social media, radio interviews, TV interviews, um, anything you can do to get your name out there to get noticed more, recognized more, uh, to let people know about the show you're going to be at next. Basically, the more people know you're at a show and the more people you bring to that show, the more the promoter likes you wants to bring you back. So promote yourselves. But this one actually just happens to be a radio interview. So, so here we go. We're here at iHeartRadio. Exactly. Exactly. Who do we got here with us? Rebecca Guerra. I am the DJ for El Patron 98.5 and El Patron 101.5. And we are about to go on air. 98.5, give it a listen. We'll be on soon. Alba Grand Productions les presenta un gran cartel. Y el día de hoy tenemos aquí, no nada más a los rudos. Sometimes you have to do promos in different languages. So you just kind of go with the flow of what everyone else is doing. Aquí las promociones como tiene que hacerla. Aquí yo vengo a decir que vengan a Farmer Market. Mañana a las 6 de la tarde. Bueno, como ya te enojaste tú y yo soy técnica, entonces déjame de agarro a no mi equipo. No me importa, no me importa que seas técnica. What he saying. Vámonos a comerciales y yo regreso con más y mejor ah. música. <risa> I actually have been working on my Spanish for a little bit of time. Estoy tratando de aprender español más. I'm working on it. I'm trying. Uh, So after we ate, we went over to Carmine's house and we got a little tour of the crib. A tour of Carmine Despirito's museum. Rarely seen to the public. Right. <laughs> Give me a tour, my friend. <laughs> I 
<laughs> the George Carlin autograph I got in person in 1987. He was three hours late to the gig, and it was at a mob like uh, banquet hall in New Jersey. And I waited there for like six hours to get his autograph. He gets out, come on, Mr. Carlin, time to start. Mm -hmm. He says, I'm an hour and a half late now. What does it matter? You bet. There's Letterman. I used to write to Letterman all the time. He'd answer me, he'd give me like personalized shit. That's... That's awesome, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> These are cool, and this is the kicker. Yeah, that was actually perfect the way you did that bite. And it's inevitable, it happens almost every trip. Shit happens. Sometimes I've heard of people hitting a bear on the drive to the shows. I've heard of people's flights being delayed, uh, luggage being lost, cars lighting on fire on the way there. So, Whatever happens is the same. Shit happens. And in this particular case, Carmine's pretty angry because we just locked ourselves out. And we've got Telemundo go to next. So, uh, Carmine, what's happening here? Well, you closed the door. <laughs> And lock my keys in the house. <laughs> I always thought about it to myself. How would I break into my apartment? I thought about this before. Now we get to find out. Oh, see? Oh, right now I know exactly what's going on. So long and short of it, we're about to go do an interview with Telemundo. We're at Carmine's house. He had to change his shirt. As people do, yeah. he walks out of this house, I walked out behind him. As people do, I shut the door behind me. That's right. I didn't know his keys were not in his pocket, but inside the house still. So we are officially locked out of his house and uh, making good vlog memories. Right, Carmine? Yes. Good vlog memories. Yes, great, great vlog memories. Great vlog memories. <laughs> but we're going to figure out how to break into a house real quick. But we called reinforcements. The dude that came over is actually the one that sang me out. He was part of the band that played me out that day. The guy that showed up was actually wearing a kilt and wrestling boots. Wrestling boots like what I wear when I'm in the ring. Well, these are, uh, I got, this, uh, uh, Doberman got me the, these boots in Mexico. What's his name? Sabu. Uh, makes boots down there, but these last about two years. Damn. I've got a pair of boots that I had bought off high school. That help turned out to be trying the credit card trick a little bit. And then when all else fell, he ran that shit in. Like, rammed through the door and busted through the seams. Oh my God! <laughs> I told you. Oh, oh yeah! That's why your shit hung up. <laughs> well, we are in the door. We are in the door. That's not too bad. Save this and I'll fix it for you. Yeah, that, that's good. It came off easy. That's easy to nail. Back. Oh, right. Yeah, it'll just yeah, it'll just nail back. I'm a trade. We're at Chicksaw Ballpark here, signing autographs and doing signings with Mr. Blue Dean. Doing interviews at the ballpark. Got the awesome mascot. Yeah. Yeah. Come follow the Chicksaw Bring Bricktown Ballpark <laughs> with the Dodgers mascot. Yeah. And while you're out promoting, you gotta have a little bit of fun. 
<laughs> oh my god. There and back. Okay, we're rolling. Action. <laughs> He's dead. Boom! <laughs> Yay! Crawl, crawl, crawl. We are on stadium. I'm gonna show these guys how to play baseball. You know, how does it feel to be part of a cult-like following of Lucha Underground? Um, I, the only thing that it reminds me of is an underground revolution, kind of like back to a three-letter word that WWE used to hate. Um, <laughs> like a cult-like following, I, I mean, I enjoy it. It's, it's hot, it's hot. It's nothing like any other product on the market, no. man. It's enjoyable. And that's the plan. I don't want it to be like any other products because other products... There's only a certain amount of things you could do, but with, because Lucha Underground has that supernatural outfit to it, you can have Mil Muertes die a thousand times, come back. Uh, you can have me kidnap and torture people. That's kind of been done on TV, but I can really torture, kill, and, and I can kill. <laughs> we can find ways to bring it back. I love Lucha Underground and the little cult following that I hope grows to far bigger than it is as, at this point. I know we're there, just be, no more people need to know about it. And I think we have something for everybody that's wrestling fans and non-wrestling fans. Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. well, not personally, but I know. Where we have the bar. at Snug Bar, the Snug Lounge. Yeah, yeah. we're Hello, with man. freaking Jolly the Green Giant. He's over here. He's <laughs> hot college shit. I'm so jealous. This guy's so an asshole. Jealous. Fuck, this guy. Fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. like, there's no Jolly Green Giant shit. Goddamn, are we in junior high? Uh, <laughs> okay, you're not. <laughs> I'm so glad I got that. Right. Right. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Salute to my Salute. new amigos. Salute. Death Box. Death Box. You are all. I don't care. You can't even see me, but the bar kicked us out. I gotta fly it. There we go. That helps. Where's the other light? Where's the other light? Where's the other light? I think it's Do it broken. Again. 
No, drive, drive. You, uh, you're gonna, gonna kill me over here. No, you, no, you're gonna, gonna kill, kill me because you're the one driving. I mean, with Comrade Desperito. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. He busted yeah. my window of the car. <laughs> so That's yeah, busted. I'm really glad you mentioned that. Yeah, right. Yeah. He locked my keys in my house. What else have you done? I rolled down your window. Right. Just and. Uh, it's uh, and didn't broke, come back right, up. You, you fucked it up, right? It won't come back it up. It's still up. It is cold as fuck right it, now. It actually. always worked before. Well, obviously not. It's not like I'm a bad luck monster. I'm such a bad luck monster. <laughs> Are you sure about oh, that? A, no, no, I'm <laughs> fucking not. Such a bad, such a fucking <laughs> yeah. It's 4:20 in the morning. <laughs> no, I'm not smoking right now. Um, but it is 4:20 in the morning. I have a flight at 6:55, which means I need to be there at 5:55. And uh, <laughs> and uh, so that means why go to sleep, right? Who needs that? Screw it. I'm staying now. It is now five in the morning. We found a water burger, which is freaking delicious. Who demon just called? We can see what happens. My flight I had to be out there by 5:55, so we'll see. It is, what time is it? Four, eight o'clock. It's, it's dinner time for the puppies. I still haven't slept yet. Um, so we're here walking the dogs. Or, or apparently they're walking us. <laughs> Do go Brutus, Jaspers, Mush. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Él tiene la botella, me ha abierto la, de go, sí, la sí. gorra. Sí, la gorra. Uh -huh. La gorra. Uh -huh. Por favor, okay, cerrado sus ojos. Okay, okay. Perdón. 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 <laughs> That's the vlog. Like and subscribe. Do all that fun stuff. And I'll see you next Monday.